Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to explore some of the most unique snails in the world, from those prized for their culinary value to those with spectacular natural beauty. First up is the snail, also known as escargot, which is one of the famous traditional dishes of France. But did you know that snails have been a part of European dining since ancient Roman times? The Romans regarded snails not only as a delicious meal but also as a remedy. Snails were raised in Cochlearia, where they were fed the finest herbs to enhance their flavor for cooking in the 19th century. Snails became a classic dish in France. They are typically cooked with butter, garlic, and herbs such as parsley. After thorough cleaning, the snails are placed back into their shells and baked in the oven. Snails are usually served in their own shells, accompanied by aromatic garlic butter and crisp bread to soak up the butter. This is not just a culinary experience but also a special cultural ritual. Snails are not only a part of French culinary culture but also contribute to the economy. They are widely exported around the world, with top French restaurants using this dish as a way to attract diners. Alongside this, the snail farming industry has grown significantly, with many snail farms popping up around the world, especially in Europe. Next up is the con, a large sea snail commonly found in the warm waters of the Caribbean. They live in shallow marine areas, often hiding under the sand at depths of no more than a few meters. Beyond the Caribbean, conches are also found in the Atlantic near Florida and the Bahamas. This wide distribution not only reflects their adaptability but also highlights the importance of conches in the marine ecosystem. One of the most popular dishes is conch salad, where the meat is thinly sliced and marinated with lemon, onions, and chili for a fresh and spicy flavor. Conch is also grilled with garlic and herbs, or cooked into a rich soup. These dishes are not only tasty but also provide a rich source of protein. Kong is not just a valuable food source but also plays a significant role in local rituals and traditions. For instance, in many Caribbean communities, conch is considered a part of the cultural heritage, with numerous festivals and folk events centered around the harvesting and preparation of this species. Continuing in today's video is the abalone, also known as sea ear, which is a type of sea snail with a round, glossy shell and thick, tender meat. They cling to rocks and hard surfaces on the seafloor and are typically found in the cold waters from North America to Asia. Abalone meat is rich in protein and contains high levels of iron, omega-3 fatty acids, as well as various essential vitamins and minerals. Consequently, abalone is not only highly prized for its culinary qualities but also for its health benefits. Abalone is one of the most premium seafood items, especially in Asia. In China, Japan, and Korea, Abalone is considered a delicacy and often appears at upscale parties and significant celebrations due to high demand and limited supply. The price of abalone is usually very high, contributing significantly to the marine economy. This has also spurred research and development into sustainable abalone farming methods despite its high economic value. Abalone faces numerous challenges such as natural decline due to overfishing and habitat loss. Abalone farming has become an alternative solution, but strict conservation and management measures are still needed to ensure the sustainable development of this industry. Moving on to the gooey duck, scientifically known as Panopea generosa, this species is the largest burrowing clam. They can weigh up to 15 kilograms, about 33 pounds, and exceed a meter in length. Remarkably, geoducks can live for over 100 years making them one of the longest living clam species this incredible lifespan not only enhances the value of the gooey duck but also reflects their strong adaptability and survival capabilities in their natural habitat geo ducks are primarily harvested in the pacific northwest of the united states and canada the harvesting process requires specialized diving equipment because they live deep under the mud and sand after being harvested geo ducks are carefully cleaned and processed to ensure quality their meat must be immediately chilled to maintain freshness and optimal quality before being exported. Geoducks are particularly popular in Asian markets like China and Japan, where they are considered a delicacy. Their high price and strict quality requirements have made geoducks a premium seafood product, sought after by gourmet enthusiasts around the world. Whelks, also known as belows, are a group of sea snails with spiral shells, commonly found along the coastlines of Europe. They typically inhabit cold water environments, ranging from tidal zones to moderate depths. Whelks live in nutrient-rich areas, usually at the bottom of mud or sand, where they prey on other mollusks and small marine creatures in the UK, 
Welks are often boiled and served cold with a bit of vinegar or mustard. They are also a popular dish at coastal pubs, considered a part of the local culinary tradition. Meanwhile, in France, Welks are prepared in various ways, often cooked in stews with white wine, herbs, and garlic. Creating a flavorful and rich dish when preparing Welks, it is crucial to clean them thoroughly. This includes soaking them in salted cold water to remove sand and grit. Afterwards, Welks should be boiled in water with herbs to eliminate any fishy smell and enhance their flavor. Next, we have the moon snails, active predators that use a type of enzyme and a redula, a tooth, tongue, to bore through the shells of their prey, which are often other snails. This process can take several days to complete in terms of reproduction. Moon snails lay eggs in structures resembling ribbon-like strips that they create from mucus and sand, known as sand collars. These collars are often found washed up on beaches and serve as nurseries for the next generation. Moon snails play a crucial role in the beach ecosystem, helping maintain the balance of other snail populations by controlling their numbers. The presence of moon snails is also an indicator of a healthy and balanced ecosystem. Moon snails can be identified by their round, flat shells, typically ranging in color from brown to gray. Their shells are thick and heavy, often found under the sand at depths of a few centimeters when collecting moon snails. It's important to adhere to local conservation regulations. Only collect specimens that are already dead to avoid disrupting their reproductive cycle. Additionally, remember not to harm their natural habitat. I want to introduce the purple snail, known for its distinctively shiny, spiral-shaped purple shell. The shell is not only beautiful but also very sturdy, protecting the snail from natural threats. Interestingly, purple snails have the ability to produce a type of mucus that enables them to create a biological raft. This raft allows them to float on the sea surface and move with the currents expanding their distribution range although small purple snails are an important part of the marine food chain they are preyed upon by larger fish and seabirds playing a vital role as a food source in the marine ecosystem scientists are interested in purple snails not only for their unique beauty but also because of their special survival strategies studying purple snails can provide insights into how species adapt to marine environments and the effects of climate change on mollusks Today, we've taken an exciting journey through the world of unique snails from all over the globe. From the familiar escargot in French cuisine to the colossal gooey duck of North America, each species has its own characteristics and plays a unique role in nature and human culture. If you enjoy discoveries like this and want to keep up with us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit like, and share this video with your friends and family. Your support is a huge motivation for us to continue delivering quality and interesting content thank you for watching until the end. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we will continue to explore and learn more fascinating things about the natural world. See you in the next videos.